Hello all, so in last video we created these two virtual machines by installing Windows Server 2019. After installation we also changed their computer name. So we tagged them as Node 1 and Node 2. And we also specified their static IP addresses. And we added them or we given the same DNS uh, server IP address. So that now these two virtual machines are part of our network. All these three machines are part of our network now. Now in this video, we are going to add these two nodes into this domain. Whatever domain control we have installed or configured in a second or third video. Now we are going to add these two machines to this domain. So for that, what I will do, let me start all the three machines now. So I will first start domain controller. But before that, I will minimize the memory for that I don't have enough memory available so what I will do I will minimize the memory and I will start this machine let it get started and after that I will start other nodes as well one by one Since I have reduced the memory to 2 GB, it's taking time. All right. And uh, what I will do is just for validation, um, I will open Active Directory users and computers. Perfect. Control or insert, and I am logging in as. A domain user so goktes is my domain and password hash one two three perfect we'll close this guys and search for active directory users and computers now once I expand this guy here and if I look for computers there is nothing here and once we add remaining two nodes to this domain those entries those two nodes should appear over here okay so I will minimize this guy as of now and let's let me open the first node now so I will start the first node and for this also I don't need 4k gram I will reduce it because I will be running all the three machines simultaneously. I don't have enough memory, so I will okay, let me run this now. Perfect. Okay, and the steps which we are going to follow is it's very simple. So just go to this PC properties and just have to change the domain. So we have to just change the domain or assign the domain name as goktest.local so this is the same domain name which we had specified while configuring the domain controller over here so node 1 is let me log in p a double s password hash 123 and before that you can just ping you can just uh, check if you can ping that uh, domain controller or not controller or not so what I will do let it get started just to check the connectivity so what I will do I will open command prompt and ping example dot no sorry it's go 
local. Okay, so it's resolving the IP address 192.168.80.10. Where it is? Where it is? Where it is? 80.10. So that's that's the uh, IP address we had specified for our domain controller. Okay, all right. So now the next task is we have to change the domain. So I will click on properties advanced systems computer name and change and here you will see that option i will select the domain and here i will specify as goktes.local moment i click ok it will prompt me the uh, specify the user id and password and in this case this is a domain admin user so i will specify goktes slash administrator and pa password h123 click ok welcome to ok so it got added uh, it is asking me to restart the machine restart now this won't take much time All right, so let's go back. I will minimize this guy and I will go back to my domain controller and I will refresh it. Let's see. Refresh list and now see the first node got added. Okay, now the same step will follow for second node as well. So what I will do, uh, let me minimize this guy. And we don't need a uh, first node anymore now. I will shut down this guy and I will start the second node just saving my memory i don't have enough memory so what i will do now let's start second node and we'll follow the same steps which we did for node one so i will change the memory i will decrease the memory to three gig all right and play okay and so I will so it is look at this so it is a local user I, it's not in domain as of now okay and let, let, we'll, wait it. we'll validate the connectivity by pinging to the domain close this guy all right open command prompt ping go test dot local okay it's pinging it's resolving the ip address now i will right click here properties advanced settings computer name change and i will assign that to domain so go test dot local click ok and test slash administrator and i will specify password now p a password hash one two three perfect so i will restart my machine now it got added into domain restart now now uh, if you see earlier when we tried to log in uh, we logged in as a local user local administrator user now since we are part of the domain it should allow us to log in as domain user so insert let me maximize this guy where it is so see there are other users and see sign into book test so this is we are logging in as a domain user so what i will do let's 
better and so signing into this node second node password dash one two three so i logged in as a domain user now domain administrator user. You can, there there are two prompts earlier since we are not part of the domain or this node was not part of the domain there was only one prompt so our work is done i will close this machine as well or before that uh, let's just validate I will close this. This machine is no longer needed. And shut down. And let's validate. Let's go back to our uh, domain controller here. And if I refresh this guy, I should get to see both the nodes. All right. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.